Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Lift Your Spirit, I'm sorry, Lift Your Story podcast. We have a guest with us tonight, Steph Shinneberry, who helps coaches and consultants with the framework of their branding. Welcome, Steph. Thanks, Roy. Thanks for having me. Okay. So, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I would love to. So, uh, I'm a nurse anesthesiologist. Oh, wow. And, uh-huh. And I'm uh, hoping to retire from that soon. I got into the online world a couple of years ago through network marketing, mm -hmm. and uh, it took me down the marketing rabbit hole, and um, I, uh, I, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with offer creation. And so uh, I've been trying to help people create their offers. And then I found out really what my superpower was, was actually helping uh, coaches and consultants figure out what their framework or their process on how they get clients results and branding that into a unique system and then creating the offer. And uh, I have a lot of fun doing that. It's really uh, kind of like taps into my creative side. I'm an artist. And so I feel like that's kind of why I like that so much. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm having uh, really the time of my life. I love coaching and I love helping people get results. Great. So if someone comes to you for help, kind of what's the process you take them through? Yeah, well, it, depend, it really kind of like depends on where they are in their journey. But um, if they're fairly new, a lot of times just really dialing in um, the, the ideal client, the the pains, the real pains that the client's having, not the surface pains and the ones that the emotional pains, and then just really sitting down with them and um, figuring out what the biggest result that they can get someone and then reverse engineering that process to where we create a map that's, uh, you know, a good customer experience, customer journey, simple step-by-step -step plans. And when you do that, it helps with uh, your messaging. It helps with your content creation. Um, it helps you with your confidence. It helps you with like clarity and, and for you to be able to articulate what it is that you do. And it makes for a really, uh, a really irresistible offer as well. And it positions you as an authority, which I think is huge because so many people are just like doing irresistible offers. And when you do this, you have your own unique process that's branded and trademarked to you. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I know, I know finding your ideal client, your market, uh, you know, uh, your funnel, so to speak. Yeah. All that stuff. And, it, and it's, it sounds, people say, oh, yeah, I need to create a funnel. Well, yeah, but there's a lot of stuff that goes before that. And, and, yeah. and there's, a, well, there's a lot, lot too. And I know Lori Ann's not here right now, but she doesn't like the word avatar. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, I like, I mean, my favorite is, and I, and, I, and I hear that a lot too, or target market or whatever. That's, I really like, uh, I really like dream client because I think that's who we should try to work with are people that, that we are attracted to and that will be attracted to us as well. Um, because I know a lot of people create businesses and then they're not really the people that they want to be working with or, uh, or that kind of thing. But yeah, uh, I really like to set it up as from the start is figuring out who has the problem that you solve and you can call that whatever you want to, but then <laughs> figuring out who has the problem that you solve that you really like to work with and marrying those two together. It's, it's interesting you say that because uh, I, 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 I went through a training with a guy and that was his whole deal. Look, there's millions of people out there, but do you want to work with everybody? Or right. do you want to work with the person that you've got a connection with? Right. Same values. Yep. You know, that's the people you really want to work with. Right. You know, because they're the ones that are going to be with you. You're going to have a relationship. It's not just a quick sale. Right. No. And, it's, uh, and it is all, and it's, it is all about relationships and, you know, thinking of the long-term relationship and, uh, and also, you know, what, thinking of who gives you energy that you work with. Those are the, those are the characteristic and the attributes that you, of the people that you want to work with. If it's a draining experience, you know, get that client the result, but then think about, Hey, how do I do this different next time? Yeah. Well, I know in my career when I was working, uh, having the relationship was huge. And I mean, 
once you get, once you develop that, and sometimes they're hard to do, but once you yeah. develop a relationship with people, they, they do know, like, and trust you. Right, right. You, you provide the service they want. They know they can count on you. And right. it, makes, it makes all the difference in the world. It really does. It really does. I mean, it, it, I mean, you might as, if you're going to be working with people, you might as well, you know, try to develop a relationship with them. And I actually like to call it a relationship funnel instead of a sales funnel. <laughs> so, and that's really what it is. If you, if, I mean, I, I, I'm, I know I didn't invent that, but it's just, if, if the, at the top of the funnel, they don't know you. And, and so as they come down the funnel, they've interacted and they interact some more and then eventually become your customer. So, or your client, but, but yeah, I think relationships are huge, especially in this day and age, there's so much competition online. There's so many choices that people have. And so um, you, you got to develop the relationships. And, and unfortunately it's, it's easy to get misled. It is. Because it is, and that's, and that's really sad too. It is, it is easy to get misled for sure. There's because there's so many, there's just so much. I mean, and it's so easy just to get online and say, Hey, you know, <laughs> whatever, you know, yeah. um, saying results that you don't have or that you can't get or what, or whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah. There, there's a lot, there's a lot of, yeah, of that stuff. And it kind of gives online marketing a really bad name because it really it. does. It really uh, does. And so if, if, when you go meet with clients and stuff, uh, cause all these people, most of them I'm assuming have businesses. They're not yes. starting. Yes. I mean, they're established. Yes. Right. So how much pushback do you get from those people? You mean as far as so when you say, okay, here's what you need to do. Change. Oh, this. Yeah. And, it's well, interesting. I've been doing this for 20 years. Yeah. And you know, I, I've worked I've worked with, I'm starting to work with some people that have had established businesses. Um, but most of the people that I've worked with have been fairly new, you know, newer, some, some have clients and some don't. And, but it is, uh, you know, when you, I worked with several people that came to me to help them with their offer, but they didn't have their, they didn't have their framework or their process down. They were just like, they knew that they could coach and they, and, and they do, it's like this unconscious competent, but if you don't have all that stuff mapped out, it's hard to explain to people. It's hard to talk about it. And it's hard to know what you really have to offer and the value that you really have. And so what we ended up doing was working on frameworks. And I've had a couple of clients um, that didn't want to do a framework <laughs> that, that, you know, until we, and I said, okay, this is your game. I mean, this is your show. This is, you, you know, do it how you want to. And then we got into marketing and content creation and they're like, well, I don't understand. I'm like, yeah, remember we were talking about the problem that they had, that they said they had and the solution that you're going to provide and the benefit that they wanted and all that stuff. And then we went back and did the framework. So yeah, yeah, they don't, they, do. yeah, they don't understand. You've got this, but you've got to go back here to come through the steps to get right. to where you really need to be here. Right. Exactly. And so, yeah. it, it, and I know there's a lot of resistance with that. And, and people, like you said, they have the skill to, right. to coach, to, to exactly. do that, you know, and then, but you can say, yeah, you're great at this, but you still have to learn how to do right. this, go through these processes to really be more effective. Yeah. Exactly. And, you know, uh, framework, the framework, the word framework is just not sexy, like irresistible offers. And I'm, I'm trying to make framework sexy. Okay. That's <laughs> so, so yeah, it's like hard to talk about frameworks. I, I'm trying to like change the name a little bit because uh, people are like, that's, it sounds boring. It sounds like architecture or something. And if you're not into architecture, then, you know, whatever, but anyway. So, so May I somebody, make a quick comment? Sure. Absolutely. I did. I did make. I did make it back again. Sorry about the technological <laughs> issues here. But framework is not a bad thing. If you look at the back, you've got the San Francisco Bridge, right? I'm hoping yeah. that we got that right. Framework is about photography. Photography is a framework. So, really, ultimately, it, it it can be sexy. It's how you would put it out there to the world. As far as I'm saying, is right. that yeah. I Yes, I, t I totally agree with you. I think it's very sexy. I think 
people get the wrong name from framework and they think it's dry and it's anything but that's where every that's where it all is that's where all the value is that's where all the marketing is that's where all the content is that's where your offer comes from um but i think people hear framework like i was talking to one of my friends the other day she was yeah but frameworks just sound boring they're just not sexy and i'm like you know they sound that way but I, I, I think that's the people that haven't really dove in and figured out like what they're actually doing with their, with their process. So. So maybe what you want to switch it out to is for people who are thinking more on a creative mind and thinking that, I mean, look at this, we've got Roy there, right? And then there's me over there. What am I, I'm we're in frameworks. It's we're pictures and yeah. you put them up on the wall. I have my grandfather's pictures and everywhere. When you frame something, oh, it's so funny you say this. It yeah. makes it art because business is art. Right. I agree. And we were actually talking about this. I was talking about this with someone the other day um, about the framework. When you're talking about like the framework, you're talking about the frame, but what you're really filling in is you're painting the whole picture. And so that's what we've been you know, trying to change the language a little bit about it. And so, so I'm really trying to play with this language. And like I said, to make it sexy again. And so, so um, I change it up a little bit, but I'm, but I'm kind of like honing in on, on the exact language too, because I love, this is the, this is the fun part for me. This is like really fun to help people do this. It's, it is, it's very creative. I was telling Roy, I'm an artist and this is like the, I think this is why I was drawn to this part of the business. It's just so much one day all the ideas come out so well i, I think fr to me framework is is the person that's analytical I, to me when you say framework i think a person that's analytical engineers accountants that those type of people that are analytical thinkers that that would be oh yeah i, I gave the framework i understand you know? right and i yeah and i and so i think that people that aren't uh analytical or engineering or they're maybe they're more creative or they they hear framework and they're like uh that sounds too much to me <laughs> so so i think that's part of the part of the issue so yeah yeah because see i like what you said about painting the picture yeah i i think i think that's that's kind of the the language i've been trying to use because i think it is i think that's what you're doing you have someone over here that that has a problem, a challenge, and they want to go over here, and you have to like be able to describe it and paint the picture for them and actually take them through those steps. And so you are painting the picture of their vision of where they want to go. Yeah. So yeah. And and I, I mean that. people relate to that. People yep. when you paint that picture, you give them that vision, you show them, then that's the aha moment for them. Right. Right. You know, but you yeah, know it's, it's, it's true. Yeah. You know, if you're, if you're like a little on the more analytical side where people are kind of like, oh man, the, the eyes glaze over and they're like, oh, I don't know. I'm, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I love it. I love it. Uh, in all fairness, Roy, when you're talking about it, you're saying you're engineering minded. I know engineering minded people who think framework, yay. So you have an attraction to that. If, because it's both sides. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it's, I agree. It's, it's yeah. perception. It's, it's how you, how she perceives something and how I perceive it and trying to come together where, right. can, where I can understand. You know, exactly. You and, know. and I think that's why you have to be able to talk about it in different language, you know, to, to be able to, to share it with different people with different perceptions. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, my, my old saying was always pretend I'm a first grader and explain it to me. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, and that's assume. really how we should explain it. Don't Without, assume I mean, I don't I, be talking down, but. Yeah. Don't assume I know anything. Play like right. I'm in the first grade. Give me step by step. Do this. Yeah. Okay. Now do this. You know, right. You know, I, I don't want to use the term dumb it down, but I mean, I'm just saying. No, but I think you're right. And I think what, the problem comes in when we do, assume, and I know I've done it, assume that someone was farther along and they knew the language and I'm, tell, I'm explaining something and, and they'll say, well, what do you mean by 
X, Y, Z. And I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. So that, you know, just teaches me to, you know, break it down. Don't assume anything. So break it down into all the little parts so that yeah. everyone can understand it. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I really like about certain people though, when you're talking about that and this, the kiss, they call it, right? Keep it simple. Yep. I don't remember the last S because we become politically correct. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, so, so it was, it was uh, stupid, but it's sweetheart. Yes. I think keep it simple, sweetheart's whatever. The, the yeah, they've right. changed it, yeah. but you're right. Yeah. But there's the other side of it though, is while you're talking to people, which this is what you're saying though. Yes, do it one step at a time. But if you feel, and, and I think it's an absolute for all of us to engage with the fact that, oh my goodness, you know what, you know more, so let me take it to the next level so that I don't make you feel, because I'm not 100% in this program here, but when we're talking about that part of things, I'm really, right. it's really important to me that I'm 58 years old and there's a lot of young people who think I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been on the computer since 1984, the very first time there was 300 baud. I've been following that. So don't assume either. Right, either way. Oh, I agree. Well, that's one of the things that that I always say is don't assuming will get you in trouble. Like if you ever assume anything. And so so I think, you know, using the cor the correct or the advanced terminology but saying what I mean by that is, and then just keep breaking it down. What I mean by that is, you know, and to they get to where, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, so that, so that everybody feels included from, from whatever level they're, they're at. If, if they stop you and say, oh, I, you don't need to tell me what I mean by that. I know what you mean. Then you know, you're good. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, kind of, it's like Lorianne is talking about, you know, how the younger people. So my son, one of my sons, real good at computers. So I used to have trouble say, Stephen, I need, you know, I need some help. I need, it's okay, dad, I'll come by. I said, come by. What's the matter? Well, I need, okay, now what? Is that all? Can you show me? Oh, dad, it, let me just do it as quicker. Yeah, yeah I need to know how to do it. Oh, you won't understand. You won't understand, dad. You'll just, I'll just do it for you. Oh, no. You won't understand. You know. Yeah. Then you don't know how to do it. Then you got to, then you're dependent <laughs> on him again. And then it's all like, would you just show me? Just call me yeah. and help, dad. <laughs> Whatever, you know. He thinks he's helping you, but actually he's, he's no, holding yeah. you back. No, you know, I'm trying to learn so I can do it myself, you know. Right, that's but, awesome. Anyway, so, but yeah, I mean, it, I, you know, I, there is, I mean, the younger people, you know, they do everything by the phone, you know, and, and they they don't understand what, you know, why you, you get an app for that? Why do you do that? Why do you, you know, and I was like, well, I'm old school. What can I tell you? <laughs> there's more than one way to skin a cat yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so well, i always joke around about the fact that even old school people have the ability when um my father had three strokes and my mother hijacked his phone because he couldn't see it very well anymore and let me tell you it's kind of scary how she can get on facebook <laughs> didn't stop her yeah, and I mean, no one taught her and then she'll sit there she goes oh I just added friends I just added friends I'm going mom you don't have to add every request <laughs> so there are things she didn't know yeah but the point is she sends me certain things I'm sitting there going mom how did you do that yeah well I think we we never unless we have some kind of mental decline we always have the ability to solve problems it's like when we don't have to solve them we're not asking ourselves the right questions and so therefore we just either let someone else do it or or it's something that we don't have to do but once we have to do it or i know facebook's not a have to but once you are challenged with something then 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 our brain goes into well how do i do that and then we figure it out yeah so, so and, I, and i don't think there's an age limit no age limit. yeah no so no. yeah no. No. Now, a lot of young people think that there is, and I'll listen to some people in their 30s or their 40s going, my parents, you know, I said, no, what there is, is not an age limit. It's a, am I interested? So an interest limit. Exactly. And it's exactly what you were saying, Stephanie, is that if I really don't want to do this, I'll call somebody up and go, hey, can you do this for me? Because really, right. I know, and I can learn it. 
Yeah. But I don't want to do it. Yeah. There's not, there's things that I don't want to spend my time on. I mean, exactly. like I, like I'm not a funnel builder. I can learn how to do it. I've played around with it, but I just like rather have somebody else do it because my time is, you know, better spent doing something else. So um, yeah, I totally agree. If you're interested in something and you're, you have a focus on it, then you learn how to do it. But if you're not, then why spend the time doing something that you're not going to be doing all the time to save a, you know, a few bucks or whatever. Cause I could save a lot more time to do something else. If it's just something that I'm not really that interested in. And, you know? and the older you get, the more valuable time becomes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so true. So, yep. you know, it's like say, yeah, I mean, I could, I could spend all this time learning how to build a website, but I could hire this guy for, 200 bucks to build it overnight. Right. It. Or hire Lori Ann to do it. <laughs> oh. oh, there you go. <laughs> what is it? Shameless plug. Shameless plug. I'm, not, I'm actually <laughs> joking around about it. I don't do websites for anybody else, but I do do it for us. Yeah. And I really enjoy doing it right. for Roy and I or yeah. what we're doing and what we're yeah. building. Yeah. But if there was somebody else that said, hey, wow, you can do that. Can you do it for me? I would say, no, I'm not yeah. interested in that part. I can connect you though. Right. With somebody yeah. that can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, and that's, that's something that's important. You know, being it a is. connector can be profitable. It can, it, it can be profitable. But it's also building relationships. So yeah. if you are able to, you know, connect and word of mouth is the best kind of like, ref, like referral oh, yeah. because you're getting oh. somebody that you know and trust is telling you this person, but it is, um, it can be very lucrative. Uh, you know, it's, it's that law of reciprocity too. It's like, mm -hmm. um, I've got a guy that's been, um, referring me clients and, uh, and I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to pay you back, but I'm going to pay you back. So I like, like I feel indebted to him. <laughs> so, so anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's all about, like you said, it's all about the relationships, you know, it definitely is. If you get those, you build those and they just, they just, progressively go on right this and i don't something. think that indebted indebtedness is really i'm sorry steph for that but i have a friend in india and he's absolutely fantastic and roy knows him very well as well when you collaborate there's not that feeling of indebting it just is it just happens and yeah. they're more than happy to do for you oh, yeah Right. And that, I just, yeah, like Roy and I, how we got together, like all of that, that just is. Yeah, it, you know. it is cool. It's, it's yeah. not so much like that. I feel like it's that whole like law of reciprocity, like Robert Cialdini talks about, like somebody does something for you and they, they don't expect anything in return. He's not asking for anything, but it's like, I want to do something for him. You know, exactly. it's like, I want to give back. It's not, exactly. I don't feel that it's like expected or anything like that, but you know, when people yeah. do things for you, you want to do something back. It's just, I think it's just human nature. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I mean, you could spend, why would you spend a year learning these two or three things when you could spend a thousand dollars, a couple thousand dollars, get them done in, you know, a month. I totally agree. I mean, I you know, and, and you go into something else is more, productive for you right the more profitable for you and you know that's I think that's a hard lesson to learn like some especially like if you're a new entrepreneur because you think well I got to do this and I got to do that and I, I got you know if Russell Brunson says you know it's it's the who not the how you know figure out who can help you do it so that you can spend money or, or spend time on things that are that are more of a right. return of investment or that you enjoy more or whatever but yeah uh, but I totally yeah. agree with that when I was working my career, I worked for a company and the owner, he said, I think I want to maybe start to learn, start, have this division of my company. I said, but you don't know anything about that. He goes, no, but I can hire somebody that does. And I mean, even back then, that's way before online marketing. But I thought, man, that's smart. You know, uh, and I'm sure you guys have probably read Think and Grow Rich. Oh, yeah. Uh, Henry Ford, when he was, they were in the courtroom. And they were telling him that he, they were trying to prove that he was not a smart man. And I, do you remember this where he was like, he, he, they were grilling him on like dates and wars and all this. And finally he had enough. And he said, he goes, 
you know, why do I want to fill my head with all of this information that's not going to help me in my company? It's not going to make me any money. When I have like this panel of control on my desk, and if I want to know something, I just push a button and I call the smartest man in the country up here to like tell me what that, you know, and I just, I love that answer. And that's really, um, even back then, I mean, they had that figured out. So Yeah, yeah, you, you use those resources. That's right. You know, I mean, they're out there, you know, you, you can't learn everything, you can't do everything. And right. you've got to be able to delegate those things. Yeah. But make sure you invest wisely. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I have spent a lot of money for a lot of things. Me too. So yes, collaboration, somebody who says, please invest in this person. They have done a lot for me. Be careful where you spend your money. I totally agree. I have sunk a lot in a hole that didn't bring me anything back. Yep. Hard lessons, hard lessons. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, your people. Like yeah, for sure. <laughs> so that's the biggest lesson I have to like really send out to people. Yeah, do it. Absolutely, invest the money. But you know. Royer and I are going to say, hey, Steph, go with Steph, like, yeah, you know, and then you've been, and, and this is what I love about, you know, Roy and I with our, um, with our podcast is the people have been sent to us are people who we know it's been that. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we're, not, we're not just going to say, hey, wow, that, that well, let's just get this person on because that person sounds like a media. No, they've right. all been referred. Yeah. That's cool. really Roy. If you look at it since the start, all of yeah. our of our guests have been referred or people that we know. Yeah, so, awesome. which is really nice. Yeah, yeah, that is nice. That's a good way to do it too. I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I may have to adopt that. <laughs> don't don't yeah. put your money into things that and and the thing is is it's not we're not saying you know Russell Brunson or all of those people like uh, Tony Robbins. Yeah. It, you can invest if you want to, but understand if you want the one-on-one -on -one, or if you want more of a close relationship of the coaching. Oh, totally. Before doing that, maybe think yeah. about. A lot, yeah, a lot of people, and I, and I agree, those people are, are great, but people will go with program. Like I heard somebody, like I had somebody on a call and they wanted to go with this person that I knew they weren't going to get any hands on from that person at all. If they ever saw him, it would be on a video. I've been in one of his programs. I wasn't that impressed. I mean, I didn't even say that, you know, because I can't, I don't want to yeah. bad mouth anybody, but it's just like, you know, it's the, you're not going to get the one-on-one -on -one or somebody diving in with their heart and soul in your business wanting to help you get results. Not that they don't want them to get results, but, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a totally different thing. You feel uh, a lot of times in those programs just kind of out there on your own. So, and, and if you're willing to do that, go for it. Absolutely, yeah. if you're a self learner and that's all you want, yeah. please go yeah. for it. If you're looking for somebody to a little bit hold you by the hand, a little bit, right. be able to reach out to yeah. you. Definitely go yeah. for. Uh, yeah. Think twice before you put ten thousand dollars into a person that would be of value for you for five. That's going yeah. to be there for you when the 10,000 isn't right. It's, it's not, I'm not beating anyone down. Oh no. I, thing is, yeah. You know, understand. That's very important. Yeah. I totally yeah. agree. I totally agree. So, yeah. so sure. Steph, how can people reach out to you? How can they find you? So uh, hopefully my website's under design right now. <laughs> um, it, hopefully within the next month, it'll be uh, com. But the best place probably is just on Facebook. It's Steph Shinneberry with one R. And I have a Facebook group that is um, Purpose Driven Profits for Coaches, Consultants, and Experts on Facebook as well. So okay. that's the best place to find cool. me right now. Cool. Beautiful. Awesome. Yeah, I just... I just even looked you up just because I do that when I'm doing these podcasts and I'd like to see this absolutely fantastic. Uh, you. you know, yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm really pleased to have had you here, Roy. Thank you very Thank much you so for much. helping yeah. me out too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Kind of go away sometimes. <laughs> 
it was so much uh it was so much fun to meet you guys i appreciate your uh, you as well on. yeah you as well it was great yeah. having you on we appreciate it and uh, we're going to look for you in the future to be the framework lady there you go that's, <laughs> that's the plan awesome. remember though make it a picture and it's a picture and, and my suggestion to you is you know like the back there, do yours as the framework of what you do. That's wonderful. The other thing that I really want to say too is, uh, please, you know, thank you, Darren. Please send out a shout out to anybody who would like to be a part of us because, like we said, we are, you know, it is all uh, word of mouth, and all you have to do is go to uh, that gal with that guy okay. dot com, okay. and you can schedule it. But what we want to hear from everybody out there is who sent you to us? <laughs> oh, yes, me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if you yeah. send that out to somebody, yeah. Lori we Gardner. want the person that you sent the next person to. We yeah, want yeah. to know that it came from you because yeah. that means a lot to us. I, I can send you guys like a ton of people right now because I'm in a, I'm, have a book coming out with 16 other women that's women who boss up and they're all trying to get on podcasts they're all awesome people so if you're if you're interested in a slew Ooh, of people definitely I will, okay i will hook you now, up now that we're going to be closing off here but this is the end of the podcast please state the name of your book one more time please yeah it's go, uh, and where they can find it okay it it's coming out in January, so um, it'll, I'm sure it'll be on my website. It's Women Who Boss Up, uh, I think it's Health, Wellness, and Lifestyle. I believe that's it. <laughs> so it's the one, it'll be the one with, it'll have a green cover, Women Who Boss Up, so. Well, you, you, you had Lori Ann at Women Boss Up. You had her, was, she's, she's in. You've got me. She's in. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. When you said a women boss up, she's in. She's all in. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yes, you are a women. You're a, definitely would fit in the book for sure. So I could probably hook you up with that too if you're interested. So absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's a. It's it been an amazing experience. Um, and so they're always looking for for podcasts and um and I'm and if you're if you're truly interested, I will connect you uh with with tam luke who's in charge of like doing this she's really helping people to get their get their message out is really what she's all about so cool oh and before i go sorry roy but more than ever because i was just talking to a new adopted sister that i have and we were talking about that so this is perfect about getting your message out or women who boss up both. Women who boss up and getting your message out about that. Oh, yes. cool. And that's so weird because we were just talking about it. Less it's than synchronicity. An hour ago. It was meant to happen. It was yeah. definitely meant to happen for sure. So that's very cool. Yeah, I will uh I'll put you guys in touch. And also when I do, I'm gonna let her know that you guys are interested in being on the podcast list. So they'll just put you on the list and these women um will I'm sure some of them, maybe not all of them, will reach out to you. And if you have any issues, then I'll be happy to like mitigate or, or help. You know, right. I'll definitely shout you out. So I'll oh. shout you out in the Facebook group today. And that way, uh, right. uh, oh. thank you, Steph, so much. And and Roy, before we go, we just want to make sure too that please, uh, if anybody wants to hear of our previous podcast, go to uh, thatguywiththatguy.com. And there's a link there to see all of our previous podcasts with all of our wonderful guests that we've had. I really appreciate that. And if you've been on here, please give us testimonials. We would appreciate that. Definitely, Definitely we'll do that. This has been fun, guys. Thank you so much. I loved uh, meeting you guys and talking with you. And again, thank you for having me. I, I appreciate you bringing me on. I appreciate okay. it. Well, thank you for coming. We, we enjoyed it a lot. Thank Very you. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Steph. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.